Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about the use of different kinds of reef hooks and how to deploy them. First of all, reef hooks are an amazing tool to dive in current locations. It has huge advantages to be able to stay close to the action. Where the current is strong, the action is strong. You'll see lots of fish, you might see hunting, schools of fish. They all really like the point in front of the reef where you have a lot of current. So how to stay there without using up all your air? This is the answer, a reef hook. So let's talk about different kinds of reef hook. First of all, you might see in the shop that you have two different kinds, a single reef hook or a double. I don't have a huge preference, but I find that the double hook gives you a better purchase and is easier to maintain. Also, if you get a bit of slippage from your point, you might find that with the two, you're staying in place better. So my preference is the double hook. But a really big question is which one of the attachment types do you want to go for? Either the elastic bungee or the classic rope type. Let me tell you, I'm not a big fan of the rope. The rope has lots of disadvantages that the coil type will avoid. The rope needs to be unrolled and rolled up again. When you're attaching to the hook, you're going to have a lot of slack rope hanging between you and the hooking point, which can get entangled in reef or even worse in other divers. When we attach to another place, again, you're going to have this loop hanging below you that might attach to things, which is not a good idea. So me personally, I don't like the rope at all. This is the newer variation. And also here, there are a few different types of hooks that you can find. The type that I prefer has two stainless steel clips. Stainless steel because this is what's going to hold you against the current and you are like a sail in the current. So it's important that the attachment is solid. So buy one with two clips. So when you're approaching the reef, uh, where you want to hook, you want to get ready with the hook in hand. You would have your clip at the attachment point on your BCD already. So you unclip your reef hook and you want to go forward with the reef hook in hand. Now, because the current is hitting you strong, you want to stay low above the reef. So it means your BCD should be slightly deflated so that you're not getting the full force of the current. Like this, you can work your way under the current to the hooking spot. Then, when you come to the hooking spot, what you want to do is you want to hold the metal part of the hook and find your point of contact. Now, it's important that you pick something that is dead reef and it's solid. Dead because obviously we don't want to harm any marine life and solid because if you hook on something that's loose, you're going to disattach and the whole hooking purpose is for feet. So once you find a spot that's maybe a little ledge or a little hole or a crevice or something that looks like you can put a hook on it, you put the hook on it and you try to make purchase. So you give it a tug, make sure that the hook doesn't come off before you start extending along the rope. Then when you extend, you want to be gliding along the rope. So that means you want to keep the rope in a steady pull that it doesn't get any slack. If you let go and the coil coils up, you have less pull on the, uh, on the hook and that might lead to the hook dislodging itself. So make sure when you're going back, you constantly have a steady pull on the hook. Once you're in the final position, you can start inflating or you can start inflating while you are pulling out the coil. Make sure that you're then well above the reef. You can be well buoyant at this stage because you're attached to the hook. And now you can enjoy the ride. When it is time to get ready to, dis to unhook, your guide or your buddy will tell you to unhook. This is the sign for unhook. That doesn't mean you, you will unhook. That means you're getting ready to unhook. So you would work your way down and along the coil or rope towards your hook, deflating a little bit, not all of it, as you go. 
making sure you've got a little bit less current in your face. You get to the hook, hold on to it until everybody's ready to go. If you're a big group, you would want to hook at the same time so you can all drift off at the same time. So once the sign is given, you can unhook and in that moment you immediately need to deflate. If you don't do that, you're going to be drifting up with your positive buoyant to the surface and you're going to have to work hard to get back down. So make sure to remember to deflate. When you're done with the unhooking procedure, even if you're moving to another hooking spot, make sure to reattach your hook always. Because one dangerous thing with hooking in general, with coil and uh, rope at the same time, is a bouncing reef hook below you. That can attach to the reef and, worst case, break the reef. But even worse is if it can attach to somebody else's regulator and pull it out of his mouth. That would be really dangerous. So make sure, even if you're only moving over a couple of meters to another hooking spot, that you connect your hook again. How to attach the reef hook? People attach it various parts in the BCD in the front triangle. But in my opinion, it is the best to keep it really centered. Think about as close to your navel as possible, because that is where you're gonna attach straight from the front. If you attach it on one of your D-rings on the side, you're gonna be pulled sideways, which you don't want. So there are different ways to deal with that. If you've got a crotch strap with a D-ring, that's a perfect spot, but many BCDs don't have that. This is my Hollis lightweight travel BCD, and it also doesn't have a crotch strap and a D-ring. So in order to attach this clip in the center of my uh, triangle, I will clip it around my belly buckle. And once I attach it here, I want to keep it as close and as tight as possible next to the buckle. Make sure it's not in front of the buckle because it will open the buttons. But here, it actually works perfect. Once it pulls, you see it gets really tight and it stays in place at the buckle. Now, where to put the other side with the clip that is provided, that is what you want to put somewhere else. Some people keep them at the same place, but in a rush, in a current, you might pick the wrong end. So I always suggest to clip your reef hook off at a different point of your BCD and see if you can hook your hook into the D-ring. Like this, you've got a very neat situation and you shouldn't be catching anything. So this was my video about reef hooking. So at this stage, I recommend you buy a coil type reef hook for your next uh, current trip and practice on an easy current dive site, not a strong current, so that you can get the procedures right before you're hitting the really big currents. And then, enjoy the ride.